members of cabinet are at this time locked in talks about plans for 2017. The meeting is taking place at the Diplomatic Center in St. Anne's. The two days of meeting will see non-cabinet members of government and all permanent secretaries sharing their views upon conclusion of the day's activities. The media will be invited to a briefing with Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley. And you can stay with C News throughout the day for all the updates. And our reporter Janine Brown is at the Diplomatic Center. Janine, what can you tell us? So I'm outside the Diplomatic Center here in St. Anne's where government is expected to be conducting their two-day cabinet retreat to be held both today and tomorrow. Now it's the second retreat of this nature under the Dr. Rowley-led administration. Of course, the first one was held in February of last year in Tobago. So it's just about one year later that we're having the meeting today. And we do expect that the conversation will focus strongly on the economic situation that Trinidad and Tobago currently faces. Of course, this has been a topic that the government has been discussing since they entered office in 2015. So we expect to find out how they intend to pave the way forward in the new year 2017. We've been here since about 8.30 this morning and we haven't spotted any government ministers as yet but we have seen members of the Trinidad and Tobago Police Service as well as Army personnel and Ministry vehicles both entering and leaving the premises. The Prime Minister is expected to address the media at the end of today's proceedings. We're not sure what time that will be. But you can, of course, tune in to see where we will have up-to-date stories on this meeting um, throughout today. I am Janine Brown reporting for CNews, and we continue to wait here at the Diplomatic Center in St. Anne's. Thank you so much, Janine.